Hello, today we'll be making the origami pinwheel box designed by Jeremy Schaefer. This is what it should turn out like. You do it right. It's not that hard of a project, it's actually very easy. And this is what one module looks like if you want to look at it. Looks pretty simple. And let's get started. I'm going to use an orange sheet here because I can just pull that off. Here, I'm going to start out with. Two half folds. And triangle. And then you're just going to fold these two bottom, the bottom and top up. Like so. So you get something like that. Then what you're going to do is turn it around. So flip it over. Let the flap come up from underneath and crease on the half line across the middle. So you're going to crease down. So now you should have something like this. And you're going to do that on the other side. So let the flap come up from underneath and fold it on the half. Like so. Okay, so now you should have something like this. Now what you're going to do is you should have white and then you should have the these orange, if you're doing orange or any color, any of your color right there. What you're going to do is fold those in so instead of being orange, they become white. So as you can see, it's not a triangle either. I just folded that tab in so it becomes white. Do the same for the other side. Okay, now you should have something like this. Now you're going to flip it over again and fold the triangular part right there that's still sticking up to the very tip of the line. So you want to go all the way up to the line. Do the same for the other side. Force it up. And flip it over again. Now you're going to let those slaps come up. You're probably going to have to push them up. And just tuck it under there. So like that. Go like, like that. And then up. Do the same for the other side. That, down, and down. Okay. Now you should have something like this. Now we are very close. All you're going to do, bottom right. Bottom right, you're going to take that flap and force it sorry, bottom right, and force it up like that. So like so. So I just went like this and up. Creased. And now turn it 180 and do the same for the other side but fold up so now one's coming down and one's going up one's going down and one's going up as you can see and now what you're going to want to do is take one flap open the flap like that and tuck the triangle into that flap like so Close it off and do the same for the other side. And all you're going to do is flip it over, take one side, fold it.
down one. So you have like this. Let's show you what I did there. I went like that to here. Do the same for the other side. But down to there. So down there, down there. Okay, now you should have a square. And then when you flip it over, a square white and two triangles red. Now what you, and this is the finished product. You're gonna let those slats open up and finish product, product for one of the modules. This is, now we're just gonna show you how to connect them all. Okay, as you can see, I already have them set up. What you're gonna do is there should be those two little flaps in the center, and you're just gonna put one triangle piece like this, this and put it in the slot that you see, like so. Take another piece and fit it, fit it in the slot beneath so like they come together. So let me show you guys again. As I did was I went like this. Let me just give you guys a better angle. I went like this and down into that to create a pinwheel pattern. And you just keep on repeating that. So let's do the same for this. Just gonna come down, fit in the slot. And just keep on doing that until you get a full square. And then after you go through that, as you can see, I got it down. Pull up the flaps from underneath and just keep on putting the module together. It's very simple for beginners and it's fun to make. It has a cool finished project. So as I keep on going around, I'm gonna tuck that into there and then flip it around and tuck this, the triangle into that slit. Now we only have one more piece left, so this is gonna be a my final, this is going to be our final product. So like that. And you should have something like that. There should be a tab. Put out all the tabs. And if you want to tighten it up, that's go ahead and do so. But I like it kind of round. Not really tight, but it's an that's your opinion. You can always make better creases. So... And if you want it to be bold, don't really exaggerate your creases. Just really let your creases be not too strong, but strong as well. So as I'm fitting in this last triangle into the slit, we have finished our main product today. So thanks for watching. We are Zeus Origami and remember to subscribe.